Hello and welcome. In today's video we're going to talk about megalithic monuments. As you can see from the pictures, there are three main types of monuments. The first one is called a dolmen and it is made up of one horizontal capstone or top stone and two or more vertical standing stones. And the use of the dolmen was as a tomb. The second type of monument we're going to look at is a monolith, which means one um, vertical standing stone, as you can see in the picture. And the third type is a stone circle, the most famous example of which is found in England in Wiltshire, is called a, and it's called Stonehenge. Uh, these monuments had different uses. Some of the things we think they were used for is, well, the dolmen we know was used as a tomb. The monolith, we think, could just be as a sculpture, a piece of sculpture, or as a monument, just because it's pretty, but also perhaps as a type of clock, because when the, sh the sun shines against the stone, it casts a shadow, and from the shadow you could perhaps tell the time of day. And the third type has many different possible functions. It could possibly be used as a religious setting, to have mass or a ceremony or ritual sacrifice. It could also be some type of clock. It could also be some type of calendar, depending on where the sun shone between um, the stones. It would tell them the, the change in the season or when the longest or shortest day of the year was. These monuments were built all over the world from between the time periods, approximate time periods 8000 BC until 2000 BC. So they were built during the Stone Age, but also in the Metal Age. They are a common feature of the Metal Age. When you think of the Metal Age, you think of megalithic monuments. Finally, let's think of some possible questions, thinking questions for the exam. For example, um, why do you think our ancestors erected these monuments? Okay, if you were going to answer this question in an exam, you can obviously put any of the answers from the previous slide about their uses, uh, or you could also add your own kind of personal opinion. Another interesting thing for us to think about or uh, that could be in a test situation would be um, these monuments were obviously difficult to build especially the bigger ones so why do you think they went to so much trouble to build them uh, let me explain a little bit better. For example, if we talk about Stonehenge, hopefully you remember what that is. <laughs> the stones there were not found in the area it was built in. They had to be brought from hundreds of kilometers away, which meant a lot of trouble for people. And therefore, you need to think about why it was so important to them to build that monument in that place and use those stones. Okay, uh, as I've explained in class, these answers are personal, but I want to see justification and evidence for, for the answers you give. And finally, uh, a third question that I could ask would be, name an example of one of these types of monuments. We've looked at two in class, so you should be able to name at least one and say the, the function of it. The last thing I want to remind you of is the meaning of the word. I think this one is easy to remember, but mega means big and lith means stone, and therefore they're called big stone monuments. Thank you for listening, I hope it has helped.